my name is Jörg Hermann. I am a consultant in the Department of Cardiovascular Diseases and an associate professor in medicine at the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine. And would like to introduce to you an article published in the December 6, 2016 edition of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled Cancer History Portrends Worse Acute and Long-Term Non-Cardiac but not cardiac mortality after primary percutaneous coronary intervention in acute ST segment myocardial infarction. Cancer survivorship has advanced over the past two and a half decades, but has led to the unprecedented challenges of now dealing with comorbidities and side effects um, in this population to a degree never encountered before. Among others, um, one question has been how these patients would tolerate um, subsequent stresses if they had a lower cardiovascular reserve, particularly as a consequence of cardiovascular toxicities, of cancer therapies. In other words, has the cancer and its therapy left these patients debilitated from a cardiovascular disease standpoint? In order to answer this uh, question, we conducted a retrospective cohort study of all patients seen at the Mayo Clinic Rochester, Minnesota for an acute ST segment myocardial infarction over the 10-year time frame starting in November of 2000, uh, which marks the current era of drug-eluting stents. Patients were followed for acute and long-term, uh, median of six years, uh, outcomes, and the results were stratified uh, by the presence or absence of a cancer history. Um, the key findings of this uh, study are as following. One in 10 patients presenting with an acute ST segment myocardial infarction we found had a history of cancer. And uh, this matches uh, some recent trials in interventional cardiology and uh, indicates that this is an emerging subgroup of patients. We then found that these patients with a history of cancer uh, presented more um, <coughs> uh, frequently with shock and also more often received intraortic balloon pump therapy, possibly indicating a reduced cardiovascular reserve and uh, that with the same cardiovascular challenge um, they're exposed to um, as non-cancer patient, they would deteriorate more severely. We've also found that patients with a history of cancer do not have a higher acute cardiac mortality despite presenting more frequently uh, with shock, mainly cardiogenic shock, uh, indicating that they receive uh, the same, if not a greater benefit from guideline recommended uh, therapies, including uh, urgent revascularization strategies, um, and this from a cardiovascular disease standpoint. We did find, though, that patients with a history of uh, cancer have a significant higher in-hospital non-cardiac mortality, and uh, bleeding events were noticeable. This is outlined in Figure 1 of the manuscript. We also noticed that patients who were, uh, were diagnosed with cancer within the six months preceding the acute coronary event had the highest risk of acute in-hospital mortality by a factor of seven, to be precise. Uh, the reason is not precisely clear at this point. We uh, furthermore noticed uh, that patients uh, with a history of cancer remained at a significantly higher risk of being hospitalized for heart failure uh, over the course of follow-up, um, again pointing to a potentially reduced um, cardiovascular reserve to cope with these stressors. However, these patients with a history of cancer um, and more frequent heart failure hospitalization after the acute event did not have a higher long-term cardiac mortality, again uh, supporting that guideline recommended therapies for these uh, patients are vital and improve their outcomes. Patients with a history of cancer uh, did though have a significantly higher non-cardiac mortality also during follow-up. This was exclusively due to cancer-related death, um, as outlined in Figure 3 of the manuscript. Um, in agreement, um, patients um, with metastatic disease had the, had the highest uh, long-term mortality rate, and their risk was um, sevenfold elevated. So, in summary, 
The, the current study points out that patients with a history of cancer are an emerging subgroup of patients with acute ST segment myocardial infarction. They have a higher in-hospital and long-term non-cardiac mortality rate related to their cancer uh, disease, um, but no increased risk of acute and long-term cardiac mortality um, despite presenting more often acutely and over the course of follow-up with heart failure decompensation. Um, this may indicate a reduced uh, cardiac reserve in these patients for which they need to be followed and appropriately managed along with their oncology care. Accordingly, this study supports the multidisciplinary approach to these patients in line with what has become known as cardio-oncology care. With this, I thank you for your interest in this study and in the Mayo Clinic proceedings, and we hope you continue enjoying reading this article as well as the Mayo Clinic proceedings. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www dot mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.